This is a story of three American reporters in Beijing and their bureau chief, Bob. Hey, Bob. How did you spend China's National Day holiday? I took the high-speed rail to Ordos. Just five hours. Can you believe it? <laughs> you went to Ordos? Yeah. Crowded with house buyers. Taking the high-speed rail? Just three hundred kwai, and you can enjoy the beautiful scenery along the way. He's changed. Did Bob just say beautiful scenery? Right. Remember what he said on January the twenty ninth, twenty thirteen. Morning. <laughs> Seriously? You're suffering the worst log in human history. Blue skies no longer exist. Now he went out sightseeing. Right. Taking the high speed rail. Right. I clearly remember what he said on February the twenty second, twenty twelve. Guess what? China's high speed rail has reached a top speed of three hundred kilometers per hour. Uh uh. <clears throat> Tax machines never build high speed rails, but low quality tuk tuks. <laughs> Feel so sorry for the passengers. Passengers? Look at China's economy. Who would spend a hundred dollars to ride on a pile of crap metal? Now he rode on it. Hey, what's up? Bob went to China's western city. <gasps> That's not what he said on March seventeenth, twenty twelve. Hey, Bob, shall we go to China's west and take a look? For what? Film Man vs. Wild season seven. <laughs> I heard China built many tall buildings in its western cities, like Ordos. You want to see China's economic bubble burst? Go to Ordos. It's nothing but a ghost city. Today, the ghost city is crowded with house buyers. Right. Can our chief editor just hold on to his China Doom narrative? I published everything he said. Jesus, we've been here for ten years. Has he ever said a good word? Right. Why? His boss doesn't like China. Uh oh. So he's rich now. No need to care about his boss anymore. <gasps> he's rich now. Otherwise, how could he afford to take the high speed rail? Right. The power of money. Right. Wait. Could it be like China indeed had its own problems, but now it's getting better? No way! How could a country solve its problems all of a sudden? Right. How? Good point. Ten years ago, we had gun violence. Today, we still have gun violence. We haven't changed. Right. Ten years ago, I was discriminated against. Today, I'm still discriminated against. My being discriminated against hasn't changed either. Me neither. Me neither. Right. Now that he's taken the high-speed rail, I won't dare to guess what else he might do in the future. If he drives new energy vehicles, pays with digital money, uses 5G smart devices, and follows the tachometers to the moon, do we report on all that? Jesus! Luckily, we've seen him through already. Gonna go take some aerial shots. <laughs>